Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a compound interest calculator or template in Excel. This way, every time you need to make a compound interest calculation, you don't have to use a function and rewrite the function every time. You can simply plug your values in real quick and it will pop out your answer every time very quickly. You will just need to save this worksheet and come back to it every time you want to make these calculations. So in order to make the template, just follow along with these steps. First, we're going to put all the things we need in the A column. So let's start with the interest rate per annum, the number of years, the compounding per year, the interest rate per period, the number of periods, the payment, the principal value and the type. And the bit below that, I'm going to put future value, which is our answer. So once we put all this information in, the future value will pop out our solution. Now, we have to put a formula in here so that when we put the values in, it will automatically calculate it. So down in your future value, put in equals FV for future value, put a bracket, and we want our rate. So we're going to go B4, put a comma, B5, put a comma, B6, put a comma, B7, put a comma, B8, bracket, enter. Now, as you can see, that's come up with 0, 0.00. And that's because we haven't put any values in any of this. And just in case you missed what I typed in there, I'll do a quick formulate text. And then it's right here. So you can put that for reference in your own Excel sheet if you like. It won't affect your results. It's just to show what this is. Now there's two more calculations we have to put in. One we have to put in here. So go equals B1 divided by B3. And that's coming up as an error. But we don't have any values in here yet. And then the last one is here, so go equals B2 times B3. And that's effectively our entire calculation. So if I were to put values in here, so say 7%, so you might want to form, format this into a percentage. So if I go percentage here, retype in 7, it now shows up as 7%. You might even want to go as far as putting that to two decimal places. And then we have our number of years. Let's say it's 11 years. The amount of compounds per year, let's just say once. And as you can see, this automatically fills out here and here. So in these two, you don't have to do anything. So I might just put that as a bit of a blue and put a border around it. Just so you know, you don't have to type anything in this. All you need is three, these three up here and these three down here. So let's say the payment's zero. We're not adding to it. And let's say we had a principal value that we started with of uh, just say 5,327. And for now, always put your type as zero. And that will pop out your answer which in our case is $11,212.55. And that's your solution. And the beauty of this is we can change these calculations and it will automatically update the answer. So let's say we wanted 10.5. You can see it changed to 15,975. And then we could put compounding 12 times a year, which should up that future value again, this time to 16. So each time you have a problem, just change these values. Remember, you only need to change these and these, and you always will get this solution instantly. So this is a very powerful tool. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.